I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on lines. We will discuss slope and y-intercept form of linear equations in this particular video with the help of four examples. So the type of example we have is to identify the slope and vertical as an intercept of the linear relation and explain what it represents. And then we need to write an equation to describe the relation, right? So, so these are the two parts which we are going to do for four different cases. So case A is Anil's walk. On the vertical, we have distance in meters. Or on the horizontal x-axis, we have time in seconds. Now here, you need to describe what is the vertical intercept. So in this case, we'll call it D-intercept, right? D-intercept. And the slope, right? So we need to find the slope. As far as D intercept is concerned, it is the point where the line crosses the vertical axis, right? Which is 1. So we know that the D intercept is 1. The vertical intercept is 1. And the slope. To find the slope, we need to do rise over run. So let's select two points. So let's take this point, for example. And we have initial point at 1. So here, what do we notice? We see that the rise is from 1 to 5. That is 5 minus 1, which is 4 in meters. And the run is from 2 to 0, right? So this is 2 in seconds. So in this case, slope is equal to 4 meters per 2 seconds or 2 meters per second. Do you see that? So that is the slope. Now we need to describe each one of them. So first part is just to identify. So we have done the first part that is to identify. And now let us try to explain what they represent. So D intercept represents the position when Anil started the walk. So D intercept in this case represents position when Anil started the walk, right? So it is one meter away. So it is, you can say one meter away. Right. So that is the vertical intercept, you can say. Sometimes we say just y intercept. And the slope here represents what? Slope represents the rate at which Anil is walking or speed. Speed of Anil's walk. is 2 meters per second. So slope represents the speed. Perfect. Now let us answer the last question, which is write the equation to describe the relation. Now the equation will be written in the form of y equals to mx plus p. So in this case, y is distance d equals to slope, which is 2 meters per second, the independent variable is time and the initial position is one unit away. So that becomes the equation. So I hope all the steps are clear. Now this has to be repeated for next three examples also to give you more practice. Okay, so now let's take the next equation. This time again, we have a very different graph, but the idea here is to identify the slope and y-intercept of a linear relation and explain what it represents. And after that, you need to write the equation to describe the relation. Okay. So here we are representing trunk circumference versus age of the tree. So on the horizontal x-axis, we have time in years. And on the vertical y-axis, we have C, the circumference in centimeters. So in this case, what is the slope? 
Slope is rise over run. It's going through the origin. We can take a point here, right? So, and then we can see that it is six centimeters in two years, right? So this is two years. So the slope here is six centimeters by two years, or we could write this as three centimeter per year. So that is the rate of growth of the circumference every year, correct? Y-intercept. So in this case, Y-intercept is at zero. Do you see that? So it is at zero. Now, we need to explain both the things. So the explanation is kind of like this. As far as the slope is concerned, it represents increase in circumference per year is 3 centimeters per year. Do you get an idea, right? As far as the y-intercept is concerned, we could write that circumference is 0 initially. Is that okay? So it starts with 0. It's a direct variation, correct? And it increases linearly. Now, we need to write the equation to describe the relation. To write the equation, we could write in the form of y equals to mx plus p. Since the y-intercept is 0, we get circumference c as equal to the rate at which it is growing, which is 3 times t, where t is in years. You get the idea, right? So that is how you get your equation. Got it? Now let's have a small break now. Just watch some wildlife. And I hope you enjoyed the break. Now let us continue. We need to identify slope and y-intercept of a linear relation and explain what it represents and then we need to write the equation to describe the relation. Now here we are talking about banquet hall charges. Persons are on the x-axis and the dollar value, cost price. Right? So since the persons are natural numbers we have represented the line with the dotted line okay now here what is the slope so we can take two points so this is at 200 a good point could be let us say this point right so we will make a triangle here to find the slope the rise is from 200 to 600 so 600 minus 200 which is 400 and the run is 20 right so this is 20 persons so the slope for us is 400 that is the amount in dollars divided by number of persons which is 20 so the slope is dollars 20 per person so that becomes the rate perfect now let's talk about the y-intercept as far as the y-intercept is concerned, it is at 200. It means what? That means even if no person is there, you have to pay $200. Correct? So y-intercept is 200. Right? This amount is also in dollars. Now, let us explain their meaning. So to explain their meaning, as I said, the y-intercept represents that fixed charges for booking 
banquet hall is dollar 200 right so this you have to pay even if no one attends the party now the slope on the other hand represents charges per head so it is dollar 20 per person that is what is given by the slope or the rate perfect so that is how you could explain and now let's write down the equation to describe the relation so the cost can be calculated by adding cost per person which is 20 times p let p be the persons plus the fixed charges of 200 dollars the cost will be in dollars right as mentioned here so that is how you can actually get the equation so i hope all the steps are absolutely clear now let's take the last example here where you find the curve which is actually decreasing as we go towards the right it is for water in the tank so again the question is same identify the slope and also x intercept y intercept so three things of the linear relation and explain what it represents you need to explain and then you need to write the equation to describe the relation so let's begin with the slope so let's take these two x and y intercepts themselves to find the slope right so this point here we can say the initial point i is for zero value we have thousand and the final point f let's call this as a final point is 20 zero so the slope is equal to zero minus thousand divided by 20 minus 0 which is negative do you see negative 1000 divided by 20 so 0 0 cancels so we get slope of minus 50 the units will be liters per minute do you see that liters per minute so that is the slope now what is the x-intercept and what is the y-intercept the x-intercept is when the line crosses the x-axis which is t here time which is 20 minutes and the y-intercept is when the graph crosses the vertical axis which is thousand liters perfect now what do they represent slope as you can see represents the rate at which water level or volume of water is decreasing so the slope represents volume per minute decreasing correct in our case it is 50 liters per minute right as far as the x intercept is concerned its x intercept represents it will be empty in 20 minutes as far as the y-intercept is concerned it represents full amount full volume is thousand liters of tank so so the drainage is open so the tank is losing water at the rate of 50 liters per minute and it will be empty in 20 minutes that is what is shown from slope x-intercept and the y-intercept so I hope that part is absolutely clear now I would like you to pause the video write down the equation for the given graph knowing all the information correct now the equation is we want to find the volume at any time this is the dependent variable and that is equal to it is decreasing that means negative 50 with respect to time which is in minutes and started off with thousand so that becomes the equation uh, for this particular linear graph which you see for the water in the tank so i hope with this exercise you understand how we could interpret a linear graph 
write equation in slope and intercept form and get a lot of meaningful information. I hope the concept is absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comments, share your views. If you have doubts, ask questions. Share my videos and if you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.